Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. So today I want to talk to you about a couple of subjects and we've just been through this really intense moon energy. Um, this is not letting up people. It's going to be this way throughout April where it's like a push and then another push and then another push. And I have some good news because this, for people that have been doing things, this is going to be a little bit easier for you. If you've put it off, if you're not sure, and a lot of people might say, you know what, I'm not sure if I'm a twin flame. Once you started activating, it's on. There's no going backwards. There's nowhere to go backwards too. That's the thing. You're closing out the old paradigm and your body is going to release all your timelines. So twins that are already together and some of these people may be married to each other. They may be living together and not fully aware that they are twin flames. There are numbers of people who have already been married to their twin and have sought a divorce because of what they feel are irreconcilable differences and yet those differences are the very things that need to go and you will come back together. You're each going to experience ascension symptoms. So for some people that have already been together, they might have been together for 10 years, going to start up feeling these ascension symptoms. So be aware that this process is continuing for people until your metaphysical parts, that, that means your light body, it actually means your twin flame body is getting together. So to make a distinction about union, people feel that union should be physically together. And yes, you are intended to physically be together. That's the very last piece you're putting together. However, until that happens, you are in the process of reunification, which is more than integrating, it is not just bringing things into this body, it's bringing things deep and it's bringing things high. That's where a lot of people are getting stuck. You're not bringing it high enough. How do you do that? That is what I teach. So people that are together are having sort of opposite. They're having opposite day. One has it up here by the sinuses or the eyes. The other one has it here in the gut area. They're having opposites going on. Why? Well, there's a really simple reason for just why. It cuts the time in half for one thing. You do this, I do that, we get it done. Okay? That might seem dualistic, but it's actually how expedient and how efficient the divine feminine and masculine truly are. That's the divine masculine in love. Get it done, get it done efficiently. It's the divine feminine in love. How do we do it? What's the best, highest, quickest, and easiest way? Might not seem easy or even make sense here at the human level. And no, you're not crazy about this. You've just left the plane. You've left the playing field. You've left the karmic playing field where some of it makes sense. Why? Because you knew all the games. You knew how the outcomes were going to be. You're in a completely different space, and it's becoming gradually, gradually, gradually out of that space. So one might have upper body, the other one have lower body. A lot of people have been living their life from the lower chakras, and you're going to find out that that messes with your head quite a bit. How do you get it done? Some of the things you're going to experience, neck pain. Neck pain, tension, and pressures around uh, the shoulders. Particularly males may feel uh, something like frozen shoulder or rotator cuff injury where you can't lift, you can't, you know, do these kind of movements. I know what to do about that. Head pressures, confusion, mental scatter. Also along with this, gastric discomfort, illness, pain. And there is going to be a sense that a lot of people have that I call the leaving. The leaving. You're leaving out. You're just leaving. But it's going to bring up other emotions from the past that bring about a deeper abandonment. 
These are going to bring out really deep abandonment issues, not the least of which you're saying to yourself, really, you just left me here. You left me to do all this myself. I need an extra hand. I need my partner. I need something. That's not a need. That desire is there for a reason. But it's also incumbent on you reach higher. How do you do that? How do you detach from the past so fully that you can get as high as you're intended to get without getting high, without some of the old stuff like, you know, whatever it has been that's been a comfort? Because even that will shift and change, okay? How do you not let things start to, you know, pile up and get overwhelming for you because you can feel a sense of overwhelm without it even being overwhelming where you look at your life and you say, I know what I have to do, but I just don't know where to start. And you literally don't. Confusion, scatter. Okay. So I like to help people with this. I like to help them feel better. I am a metaphysician. Yes, I am. And then it's not to be confused with being a physician. However, when it comes to things about the body, that is my forte. So it's time to get serious. And some of you may ask yourself, do I move on or no? You know, that reminds me of this, that song by Queen. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see, nothing really matters, nothing really matters to me. Okay, you get the idea. But I'm here to make sure that you know that, oh look, Look who's ready. It's another batch of the masculine. They're ready. They are ready and they're ready to be served up. In fact, they've been served up. Time to grab your true twin. Time to grab and reach in. How do you do it? I know how to do it. You do it from within and you do it from high above. That's what I walk people through. And you may also be saying to yourself, you know what? I just don't know how this is going to look. I don't know what I'm going to do for a living. I also help people with that as well. Because actually you do know and you do have a plan. You just kind of need it. You need it formulated. You need it to take form. You need to stop spinning and being like scattered around your head. Because you and your twin, like it or not, you're in this together. It may not look that way right now. And in fact, it is looking that way to people already together. Except when they have opposite stuff going on, even that can be confusing. Why do I have this? Why do you have headaches and I, I have stomach aches? Why do you feel angry and, you know, I don't, but my, my back hurts. My lower back is hurting. Why? Why? Because maybe it's opposite day so that they can get rid of it. And you have to know that Love will keep you together, okay? The in love part means enveloping yourself in your own love. It doesn't mean taking a retreat into the now clo rapidly closing up old paradigm. That's not what this means. It does not mean move on because for a lot of people, moving on actually means going backwards. You're in a retrograde. You go backwards, you're going to get pushed forward. And you may not like that push. You don't know what to do. Don't do any of that old stuff at least. Okay? At least not any of the old stuff. Okay? Stand still a minute. Get still. Okay? You may not know even then what to do, but you might not be going backwards. And that's important. Not going backwards is very, very important. Because what's here in the head might be what gets created, okay? This is going to go on for a while. This is going to go on until people are not only catching on, but are closer and closer and closer. So I don't want to sound like doom and gloom, but we've known for some time that this April, 
this April is going to be like going to a place where you get the things done that maybe you couldn't get it done before. Maybe you finally have a court case resolved. Okay. Maybe you finally take it serious about your health. Maybe you actually do care for yourself. And even that is a balance because people will say that to you too. Oh, just focus on yourself. You focus on yourself without losing sight of your twin flame. Okay? You have to learn how, to, how do you focus on you and do what's best for you and make the moves that you feel are best for you, even if you wind up making a mistake and knowing that it can't screw up that badly. You're going to catch your balance again and again and again. But how do you get that point where you're keeping the twin flame alive? Okay, because you really are here to be alive. One of the things that is very, very challenging is feeling like living again when you come down to earth. It's a challenge, okay? You don't sometimes want the food. You sometimes feel out of it. You feel icky. You don't want to have to go to work. You can dream and see what your future would, you'd like it to be and what you sense is the potential. But how do you get from this point to this point? So this is a lot of what I talk about. Also, what is important as to what your body is going to go through because your human body is having breakdowns. Small breakdowns, larger breakdowns, leading to some of these things. These are some of the things where inside your body, the old stuff is breaking down. So if that's you, you may try my webinar, Human Body in Transition. It's very pertinent for this time. Yes, I did write it a couple years ago. I wrote it for the cycle that I went through then. I've been through everything that you're going through. My higher self made sure of it because I'm a teacher of this and I still go through it. I go through a diminished cycle of it, but for some of you, it might be intense. And for some of you, it might be more subtle where you don't know, but it doesn't mean that you ignore things either. It doesn't mean that things are off. In fact, it means many other things that you're coming together and not holding or carrying certain things is a part of that. So the human body in transition. I also do readings, classes, coaching, and I do body work live here in Chicago. I also travel. Patricia travels. So if you'd like me to come to your city, reach out and let me know. You can reach me through my website, TwinFlamesMerge.com, or my email below, which is twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Now, if you feel that you're further along and you feel like you're kind of hitting your head on that ceiling and you need to find out what's next, check out my other website, twinflamereconnection.com. So this is going someplace, people. And even though people talk about waves and waves, I like to talk about almost like when cookies are ready or the pastries are ready. Batches, batches and batches of people that are now ready and they are in love and they are bringing the other half of the locks and keys that you need. Okay, so if you've been uh, very focused on this, I really applaud you because I know some of you have been doing this for a really long time. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that you check it out. Please check out my new stuff on my website at twinflamesmerge.com and watch for upcoming events, which will be live. And if you're in the Chicago area, that is where I do most of my body work. And I can meet with you over Zoom or telephone. So for those of you that think this is just spiritual, it's beyond spiritual. It's material now. This is coming into your material life. And it's a scope that involves five of your subtle bodies, which I know about and which I've written about and which I teach about. And I continue to teach to each batch of people that are coming into it. Okay. If you've already been it, 
in it, that's wonderful. If you're just becoming aware of this, find out. Come and find out. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye now.